This is the Bible. It's God's Word. Now, there are things in here that don't line up with what I believe. What are those things? I don't know. Yet. But if I knew what they were, then I would change my beliefs to match what it says in here. Because that is the way of the biblical Christian. You want to find the answer to things you do not know You want to ask your dad but he's gotten kind of old So you turn to your computer and you hope for something new The answer to your prayer is here at YouTube It's DadTube Ha <laughs> ha! That's ridiculous. The Word of God is not governed by what I currently believe. I'm not supposed to bend and twist the truth of this book to fit my own personal agenda. Instead, I'm supposed to submit to the truth of this word because God never changes. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Our ideas will come and go, but God's word stands for all time. And how will I come to know what the truth of his word is? Well, I've, I've got to read it. I've got to eat it. I've got to drink it. I've got to live it and breathe it. I've got to study it day in and day out. I've got to humble myself to the authority of the truth that it teaches. On most topics? No. On every topic. Science, medicine, um, history, conduct, marriage, prophecy, fashion, the life of the true biblical Christian is governed in every way imaginable by the dictates that are contained in this collection of 66 books. And all 66 books are in perfect agreement. Why? Because God never contradicts himself. If you think you find a contradiction, write it down and keep studying. Because eventually, whether it's the next day, whether it's the next week, whether it's 10 years from now, Eventually, you'll come back around and you'll find that that contradiction is not the fault of God or His Word, but instead it's the fault of your misunderstanding, your misinterpretation of what His Word says. It's the owner's manual of your very life. So don't just stick it in the glove box and forget about it like most people like to do. This thing is divinely inspired. So if you want to know the secrets to life, the universe, and everything, if you want to know more about God and who He is, or more about the creation and what it is, if you want to learn more about who you are and who all the other people in the world are, then read His book. He put everything in here, a message directly from Him, directly to us, so that we could know what was going on. I mean, He didn't just create us and just let us go cluelessly not knowing anything. He gives us direction. And so if we ignore that direction, it's really our own fault. This collection of books is so basic that even the first grader can be blessed by the simple truth it contains. But this collection of books is also written at such a complex level that even the college graduate can be blown away by the deep, intricate, detailed revelations in regards to any topic imaginable. So what is the Bible? It's the textbook that never expires. The student will never outgrow the Word of God. And that's the truth. So thanks for listening. And remember, I want you to know the truth. Why? Because I love you. And that's my job. <laughs>